vlog how are we all doing so i am popping in here and throughout this video just to sort of narrate the clips that you're seeing um because this is going to be another of the narration uh style vlogs and then i'll show you the clips so this is a vlog from sunday afternoon and this was quite an important day and you'll see in the clips why. So I started the day by going for a walk with my boyfriend. The It was such lovely weather. Um, so we went down to the fields around us, went for a walk. Um, lovely blue skies. We have such nice walks around as I've said many times. Um, so we went for a walk around our area and we've seen all the wildlife, we've seen some swans in the rivers and in the canals. So we started our day off with a walk around my local area. Then something really exciting happened. We left the postcode. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, we left the postcode to go and get our COVID vaccine. I was way too excited to leave the postcode to leave the house. Um, I haven't been into Nottingham for obviously a very long time and that's where the vaccine was. So before we went in to get our COVID vaccine, Lewis had a physio appointment which was in Nottingham as well. So whilst he went there, I went to Tesco, did a bit of a shop, had a walk around Nottingham city centre. I did try and speak to you, but yeah, my vlogging and public skills are not quite there yet. I still feel a bit shy on my boyfriend. So I tried to do a little vlog around Nottingham, um, but the angle was so bad. You always see it's all double chin um, because I was trying to vlog low. Um, so yeah, we went into Nottingham, had a walk around, um, managed to grab a Five Guys milkshake, and then we were off to the vaccine centre. And as you can see from the clips, um, everyone's waiting in queue, you're ready to go in. I have literally just had my COVID vaccine. It went really, really well. They're in, in and out in no time. Um, because I didn't drive here today, my boyfriend drove, I didn't have to wait 15 minutes afterwards. It's really quick, really easy. So glad I've had my first one. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'd update you that I've had my first COVID vaccine. It's done. I'm now going to enjoy my Five Guys milkshake that's been sat here. Um, I've got, it's a peanut butter, chocolate and Biscoff one. So yeah, I'm going to sit here, enjoy my milkshake and wait for Lewis to come back because he does have to wait 15 minutes because he drove here. And if you're wondering, the verdict is that this tastes amazing. Five Guys milkshakes just kill it every time. I say every time, but this is only my second one that I've had in my life. But it's just so good. It's like a dessert. So it's a Sunday today. Um, and we've not really been up to much. I just thought I'd vlog today because... One, I've had my COVID vaccine, so it sort of feels as if, like, it's like a monumental day because it, it's, like, the start to the end now. Um, and two, I mean, I went outside my postcode today because to get this vaccine. Um, so I'm in Nottingham now. Um, and I just thought, like, it's a change of scenery, isn't it? I haven't been outside my four walls for so long. I mean, yes, I've just come out for my COVID vaccine, but it's still, like, I've dressed up for the occasion. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm in jeans. That was at a very flatter angle. But I'm in jeans. I've only been wearing leggings for about, for like a year now, just leggings. So I've dressed up for the occasion because we went outside the postcode, getting my COVID vaccine, thought, get dressed up. This is as good as it gets. I'm basically going out, you know. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd bring you along today and we're planning for the rest of the day. Um, I say the rest of the day, I mean, it's like five o'clock now, but we're going to have a Sunday dinner when we get back. Um, I've got a bit of work to do, um, for Kem. Um, I have a, a client that I'm doing some YouTube thumbnails for, for so doing a bit of Kem work. Um, I'm probably just plan my week, chill. I've really got back into Marcella because um, I know they have the two seasons and I know I watched season one when it was out, but I can't really remember because I'm the type of person that loves all those sorts of like um, crime and police dramas. Um, so I feel like once you've watched one or two, they're all very samey. I mean, I love them all, don't get me wrong. But yeah, I definitely watched Marcella and I couldn't remember what happened. So I thought... I'm going to re-watch the first season and then um, 
then watch the new season, season two. So I am watching Marcella. Um, I have pretty much finished Married at First Sight Australia. I am as up to date as is. Um, it's pretty much like about to finish. And then I'm moving on to celebs go date in the mansion. And then there's, uh, I think it's like Under Deck, Mediterranean Under Deck or something like that. So, mm, definitely having my my dose daily dose of reality tv and crime tv too so it's so busy here what well, that's one thing i want to say it's a sunday and it is so busy i did not think it would be as busy as it is um literally people are struggling for car park spaces it's like a one in one out but yeah really quick so glad i've had it done and now i'm looking forward to just chilling for the rest of the evening um and like just continue with the rest of like life really now that we've had the covid vaccine like part one i still have to come back in may for part two but yeah i can't really remember exactly what i spoke about in the clip straight afterwards because i did talk to you about um how my vaccine went how i felt what it was like but just a overview because it's a couple days on from that now i had my vaccine on sunday and it is now tuesday um, on the day I felt fine, my arm wasn't sore at all, I honestly felt normal. Um, Monday came around and in the morning, again, I felt fine, a bit of a sore arm, but that was it. Um, and then it hit midday and that's when I think the effects really started to hit me. I had a sore arm, more than, more than anything, my body really ached. I was really achy, really tired, had no energy whatsoever. I didn't feel unwell, um, like it wasn't like, a, I didn't feel sick or I didn't feel like I needed to go to the toilet. I feel like if you, when I feel unwell, that's when I feel my worst. It was more just my body was really aching, I had no energy. So um, I went on a two hour walk in the morning and then I come back, had a shower, just about managed to wash my hair and yeah as you'll see from one of the clips I was looking pretty rough and spent the rest of the day in bed um but I it's now the next day I've rested I've taken I've dosed up my tablets just paracetamol and ibuprofen and I feel absolutely fine today so that is a brief overview of the vlog hopefully you should have seen the clips in between of what i got up to um i thought it was a really important day and um, quite a big day for me to vlog one because i left the postcode which was very exciting and two i really wanted to document the day that i got my um coronavirus vaccination part one um because it's a big day it felt i felt a bit nervous going in it really did feel like the beginning to the end um you don't get to choose which vaccine you get. I was pretty sure when I went in, they said to me and my boyfriend, because we had it at the same time, um, you're both getting the visor one today. And I actually got the Oxford vaccination. So you can't pick which one you have. Um, and me, my boyfriend and his dad all had the vaccine on the same day. And we all felt pretty sluggish, rubbish, achy bones and tired the next day. So if you were having your COVID vaccination soon, those are some of the symptoms that I've seen, felt, and uh, has been most common that I've heard and seen of people around me that have had the vaccine, and all of us had different vaccinations. Well, there's only two, but within this household, we are all now vaccinated for part one of the vaccine, and all of us have experienced um, some side effects, but it's definitely nothing that would put me off getting my second one. Obviously, it's way more important to get the vaccination than just feeling a little bit rubbish the next day. Um, so yeah, I wanted to document this day because I thought it was, like I said, a quite an important and big day for me and in history. And I wanted to look back and think, oh, that was the day that it just felt like things were starting start to change. And um, yeah, so I feel really happy and lucky that I've had my first vaccine. And um, yeah, hence why I wanted to document this day. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a short one, but it's one that I wanted to vlog and share with you nonetheless. Um, so if you have enjoyed it, please give me a like, drop me a comment, follow me on my Instagram, and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.